years to the day since the last time the Packers and the Eagles met in the playoffs. You may remember their last meeting, trailing by a field goal. It was late in the fourth quarter of that divisional game. The Eagles faced a seemingly impossible situation. Fourth down, 26 to go. There was only a minute 12 seconds to play. What happened next? Well, it's been immortalized in Philadelphia sports history. Donovan McNabb hit Freddie Mitchell. The play covered 28 yards. They moved the sticks. They would eventually kick a field goal, and they would eventually win that game in overtime. Ask any Philly sports fan. They remember that play. Here now to relive it, Freddie Mitchell. Freddie, always good to see you. Uh, it looks like you're doing well. I, I, thanks for coming on because we really want to relive this play. Uh, I remember watching it live thinking there is no way they're going to pick this thing up. The game is over and Philly's season is over. What was the discussion like in the huddle before that play? Well, even before the discussion in the huddle, I uh, reached up to the headphones and told my coach, David Culley, that I've been open all game, run the same play that you ran the last play that we uh, was going to call um, two-jet double go, and the middle is wide open. Just let me find the hole. Give me an opportunity. And he said, okay, Fred, I'm going to let them know. They, uh, they um, actually telephoned in Donovan's helmet and uh, actually said, Throw the ball to Freddie Mitchell. He's going to be open. <laughs> Donovan looks. Don, Donovan looks at me. It's like you ready. I'm like, dude, I've been ready all game. And you, you hadn't, know, you hadn't, hadn't had caught a, a pass. Yeah, that was the interesting thing. You didn't have it, a single catch the whole game. It's freezing. I'm blocking like Himes Ward. I'm doing the things that you know. <laughs> treat a, give a give a give a dog a bone if you want to say you know. And it's just. Uh, I, I, I told I've been ready all game. I don't understand why you haven't thrown to me. So all right, so the, so the found, ball is found... snapped, Freddie, and, and take us through the play. Take, talk us through what happens uh, as, as this play is unfolding. Well, you know, it, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword when, when, when the, when the uh, defenses get ahead or whatever else and they do run the prevent defense and stuff like that. You, you can get caught uh, with a lot of big holes. Well, they, they ran what they call a Tampa 2, and uh, that linebacker's been shooting now all game. And I was just going to try to find a hole. I knew how, much, how many yards we needed and stuff like that. So I was going to find the lane that I could that I could get in and let, that Donovan could throw me the ball. So I, when, I, when I was on that lane, all I was doing was paying attention to the ball, and I pretty much knew I had the first down. Boy, it was close, too, because, you know, you're right at the, at the marker when you catch the ball, and then you're knocked mm -hmm. back behind the, the spot that you needed for the first down. Did you have any question in, in your mind as to whether or not you had the first down? I looked over and, and just I looked over and saw the flags and I was just like man I, that that's it you know that's it you know that's what I've been waiting for the opportunity that I've been waiting for and I took advantage of it man I, I was happy and you know I put on the belt they call me the people's champ so I put on the belt on them and uh, you know, and kept the chains moving. Well, I remember you bring up the people's champ, and uh, last year I heard that there was actually a Packers fan, or a Packers player rather, that wanted the title for himself. What's the story there? <laughs> you know, it's, it's Mr. Rogers. You know, he's a cow bear, so I forgive him a little bit. You know, they call us the baby bears, but, you know, it's just funny that yeah, they take everything that we do. Um, I saw him actually at a country music awards, the ACM in Vegas, and... Uh, I told him, you know what, I'm going to let you do the belt. You know, it's a Pac-10 thing right now. You, you, you're in the league right now, and uh, I'm going to let you have the belt. So anytime you do something good, you know, put the belt on them. Very good. Well, it was certainly your trademark. Scale of 1 to 10, uh, Freddie, what, what, uh, how nice was that pass from Donovan? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it, it was it was 20 degrees outside. You know, it was, it was the ball is hard and everything else. Um, let him tell it. You know, he meant to backdoor me, put it on my back shoulder, and and uh, and, and, and put it on that spot. But I mean, I, I give it a I give it a nine seven. I give it a seven because I think that you know it was like you know everybody already thought the game was lost, and I was running this route to get get my first catch of the game. So my 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 sense of urgency was on another level. So I, I'll give it a seven. One to ten. What was the catch? Oh, definitely a ten. <laughs> definitely a ten. In, in, I thought you'd go in there. In situations, in, in, in a situation like that, in a situation like that, playoffs and everything, you got Brett Favre looking at us on the sideline. Can't do anything. Um, you have uh, two players. Uh, 
Al Harrison and I forgot the uh, Sharp. I think uh, Sharp, but uh, I don't know. I think I don't know who it is. But, yeah, one Sharp. You know, double team coverage on me. It was Sharper, okay. Yeah. And double team coverage on me like that. I mean, to catch that ball in that situation. I mean, it takes it takes a pretty special receiver. I'm, I'm sure you hear about that all the time from Philly fans. How often are you reminded of that catch? Oh, my goodness, every week. And I love it because, you know, there's been a lot of receivers that's come through the system in, in Philadelphia, and there's been a lot of Pro Bowl receivers and stuff like that with all the, you know, the, the numbers and the catches and the touchdowns that society likes. But, you know, you get a hardworking receiver like myself that's blocking and doing the little things, clearing routes for, you know, Tara Lowens to, to catch balls and stuff like that and, and never get known and, and then, you know, get labeled sometimes as a bus or something else, but making the big plays to help a team out you know I'll take that play any day of the week and, and trade pro balls and everything else you know I, I love being a part of uh, Eagles Eagles history and, and and that's all it is to it well that's certainly one of the more memorable plays in team history let me ask you um I, I read somewhere where you're doing some sort of reality show a dating deal with, with you got to tell us about that what are you doing <laughs> Jay, you're doing your homework. You're doing your homework. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be on the 11th. It's, it's called Millionaire Matchmaker, and uh, you know I, I I my my relationships hasn't been so good. So you know I was like, you know what? Let me go to a professional and see what she can do. She helped me out. Her name is Patty. She she definitely knows what she's talking about. I'll be on the Bravo Channel uh, on the 11th and uh, doing my Millionaire Matchmaker thing, and uh, it's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be interesting. And then Jay, you're doing your homework, man. I like that. Well, I like you know that. what? I, I can't take the credit. Our producers here are top shelf. Ed comes to me this okay. morning and says, you got to ask about that. So I figured you would you would definitely uh, would fill us in. You're going to be good on that show. I, I, I think you have just a little bit of personality. We can't wait to see it. Who wins before we let you go? Pack, Packers or Eagles? You know what? I gotta I gotta go with uh, with the Eagles. And Michael Vick is doing an amazing job. Uh, David Cully is doing an amazing job having the receivers at the right spots. And I gave them a lot of film so they could see, you know, what to do and stuff like that. So my film is gonna help Deshaun <laughs> Jackson and everybody else, you know, know how to beat the Green Bay Packers. Still getting it done for Philly, Freddie. Great talking to you, man. Enjoy the game this weekend, and we'll see you on the program. We can't wait to watch. Je Jay, it's a pleasure, and I'm a fan. Thanks, man. See we'll talk later. soon. Fourth down coming.